Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another reading. Uh, I'm just, this is kind of a random reading. I just want to see, like, what comes out. I'm just going to be asking about, like, um, just in general, like, future events, what's coming up. Just because sometimes, I don't know, I just like the random reads. I just like to kind of, like, throw it out there, whatever wants to come out. So that's what we're going to be doing. I might still title this Twin Flames. I don't know, just because my general audience, like, that's just how people know my videos. So, uh, we'll see. But yeah, I just kind of want to see what comes out. But as usual, like, comment, subscribe. We, we don't really know what comes out, so it could be anything anyways. Uh, likely knowing my videos uh, that situation might pop up but i just want to see if there's anything else that comes out and yeah that's pretty much it join members if you're interested i do have some extra uh, members content for the next video i'm posting or the last video i posted because when i post this that will probably already be posted so yeah anyways we're just gonna see what comes out i'm using my um iridescent deck i think this was called iridescent tides or something like that um, yeah, it's kind of hard to show on this camera. I feel like the quality is horrible on this camera, so it doesn't really do it any justice, but this is this deck, what it looks like. It's like kind of like a black and white deck with some color in it. You can go look up the pictures a little bit better, but yeah, this is what it looks like, so. Oh, jeez, I'm about to drop my phone too. All right. Okay, what? coming up in terms of future events anything coming up in the future future events what is coming up any future anything what is coming up in the future i'm hearing fantastic fantastic four isn't there a new movie coming out like that um, I'm hearing Wellington. I'm hearing something about a bridge. I'm hearing a uh, bridge warning. Something about an electric fence. Yeah, I'm hearing like shock collar. Maybe someone has a dog that they have an electric fence for. Something could be living on a farm or somewhere like that, or it doesn't have to be. I'm hearing uh, she makes me do it. I'm hearing documentation, documenting. Something about calligraphy and penmanship, pens. This came through before. I keep hearing putrid smell. That just is such an awful word. I hate that word. I'm hearing Eglinton. I'm hearing Turner again. I keep hearing like William Turner, which is Pirates of the Caribbean Turner. Something with the name Turner. I'm hearing something about a toddler running, taking time bomb, um, something about pause and play, pushing play or pause on something. I'm hearing petting the dog, petting zoo, pet Paddington's, petting, pedaling a bike down the hill. I'm hearing, it's raining a lot. You're gonna put your stuff in the back of the car, it's time to go. Get your stuff together. Grandma's house. Growing old, going to grandma's house. What's with the growing old? That just keeps coming out. Um, I'm hearing somewhere over the rainbow. I don't know. That makes me think of Rainbow Bridge. I don't know. Um, somewhere over the rainbow. Way up high, there's a land that I've heard of once in a lullaby. Lemon drop? Something with lemon again. Um, where dreams really do come true. Where the clouds are far behind me. Something about flying somewhere over the rainbow. Makes me feel like a very dreamy state or something. I'm hearing New York state of mind. I keep hearing calligraphy and then I'm hearing something about cautionary tale, caution tape. Costing you a lot of money. I'm hearing Quebec and Montreal. Cabana? Cabin? Cabana. Cabin fair. I'm hearing that again. 
something about um, slicking back someone's hair as I like touch my hair. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing maybe maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe she's made for it. Okay, so you me think of like magazines, an advertisement. I'm hearing, are you sure this is what you want to do? And then I'm hearing um, that song again. What was I made for? I'm hearing Marchland. Marshland. Wait, there's this, oh, a name I'm seeing. Judy Garland? Or no, Marshland. Garland. Marshland? I don't know. It sounds familiar. Judy something. It's like J and then Marchland something land. I don't know. Cause Molly, I'm hearing Kaz Kamikaze. Uh, something about loading up a truck or a van. I'm hearing, let me see beneath your beautiful. Take it off now, girl. Cause you're my angel. You're my darling baby. I'm hearing that again. Alone at last. I'm hearing New York, New York. I'm hearing Istanbul. Arcadia, I'm hearing that again. I don't know. It makes me, I keep hearing that message about like somewhere over the room, like heaven, like heaven land, like somewhere where it's very peaceful, very calm. I just keep getting that energy. It's very nice. Like, I don't know with this five of cups, like I get it more so as like calm, like floating, like floating on a cloud. That's what I said after my last reading. The long one, like I said, the long one. I do long readings all the time. Um, <laughs> the last read that I posted, though, I said, not not the last, last one, I guess, when you're watching this, but the one about, like, the very spiritual message with music in the background. Um, that one, I said, it felt like I was floating on a cloud after that message, and that's what this feels like again. I am hearing Cubaro, Cubaro again. Continental breakfast, I'm also hearing. Killing me softly with his words, killing me softly with his song. Something about Western society. I'm hearing you'll always find your way back home. I'm hearing Artemisius. Paloma, Paploma, Paloma. I'm hearing going back to where you came from. I'm in cold, cold water for you, but all this time we're wasted in a different places. I'm hearing set me up, set me up for failure. Servitude, serving, serves you right. Serving, we did talk about breakfast, I don't know. Or um, continental breakfast, yeah. I'm hearing Kaylee. And can you leave my stuff at the, at the back, in the back seat? I'm hearing wishy-washy, window washing, L-A-M-F-A-O. -L I don't know. I'm hearing casting off, tea off. I'm hearing cue my music. Q bar. I don't know what's with Q. I'm hearing don't settle. Sounds almost like a whisper. It's like don't settle. I'm also hearing don't rain on my parade. Knock on wood. I'm hearing hoodwinked. Venezuela. Sorry, my video needs to transfer. I'm hearing Ollie. I'm hearing, can you pick me up from the movie theater, from the movies? My sister needs a ride. My little sister needs a ride. I'm hearing Arcadia again. This is so strange. This energy is like 
It's like I'm high or something. <laughs> this person's... I'm not gonna lie, though. The cards even look like it. Look at the next card that I just pulled. Look at it. If you can see that. Does it not look like someone's, like, high on... Like, just the way he's looking? He's, like, zoned out, kind of? Reaching up to something to grab something? I don't know, something about jellyfish? I mean, just give me a reason, just a little bit of it. Someone's like dreaming about something. That's what I get. It's like they're in the, they're in, it's in their dreams or something. Something's only in their dreams. Uh, what's that song? Only in my dreams. What song is that? Is that the one I was singing already? But only in my dreams. Keep hearing cold hands and cold water. Valentine. I'm hearing Valentine. Valentino. Anniversary I'm hearing. I'm hearing shock on wedding. Something about a cardinal, a race car. I'm hearing corporal, corporate office. I'm hearing it again, constitutional rights. Renouncing your, something about renouncing their position, renouncing something, announcing or renouncing? Something to do with constitutional rights, something about announcing or renouncing something in the future. Someone only dreamed of this, I don't, I don't know. I'm hearing, it came out like a wrecking ball, and never hit so hard in love. Da -da -da -da. I mean, all my life you stood by me when no one else was ever behind me all these times. Nobody can drag me down. I'm hearing Akashi, Akashic Records. I'm hearing organizational and organize and organization, organizing funding. Fan favorite. I'm hearing Viola. That makes me think of that movie. What is it? Viola in She's the Man? She's the Man. There's something about like gay rights or something here. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was getting something about that just earlier and then I wasn't sure. But I mean, all these cards have rainbows in them, which I mean was part of the deck. But I don't know why specifically in this part of the reading I'm just getting something about that. And questioning myself. Um, yeah, someone could like change their appearance or something. I don't really know. But I also get like something like like someone running for president that's like a feminine or something or like a female uh, leading something that was once like led by a, ma a man or something like that. Like I don't know, I'm getting like that kind of concept as well. Something about this. Or like someone is seeing femininity different or like I, I feel like this is so random but yeah like looking at someone as like very strong or something like that like I don't know I'm hearing count sorry I'm hearing account accounting counting down I'm hearing missing people's report. Music to my ears, counting down. Something about global network. Something about, I'm hearing, I don't know what this is. I'm hearing virus, antivirus software. Um, I see like networks, networking, graphing, graphs. Something about 3D printing, 3D images. I'm sorry, this is so random. Like AI again, I'm getting. Like something with technology. I'm hearing giraffes. Graphing. I don't know. I'm hearing it's going to be big one day. Going somewhere, I'm hearing. You can put your head on my shoulder. 
I mean, if you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever, friends will never end. Okay, I'm also hearing, I just can't wait to be king, but this is on the Empress card. Did I show this card? I don't remember. Anyways, that's the Empress card. It's a little different. She's like this kind of like network thing around her head. I'm hearing ghost stop, ghosting, ghost, go to sleep. I'm hearing go read a book. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting this more now. I don't know, like at least some of the messages. There's always a million different other messages, but um, there's definitely like a masculine here who is dreaming of a place far away. That's what I'm hearing, because in another read I was hearing far, far away, yeah. So I was dreaming of when they can leave something behind. When they can leave this place behind, this home they're living in, this living situation, they don't want to be anymore. Look at the electric fence. Like I was saying, electric fence or something, like it doesn't have to be, but like a fence around them, that's how they feel. Like they feel restricted or stuck somewhere, and they're dreaming of getting away. They're dreaming of a life somewhere else. So they also could be taking a drug or something while they're dreaming about this, I don't know. Um... But, like, they're reaching for something more. They're reaching. Like, they are striving for something better to get out of something. Maybe they feel like it's their right to do something. Like, on the constitutional right. Someone here, again, could be, like, gay or bi or something like that. Or there's something going on here. It doesn't have to be, like, involved in this exact situation. But there could be something about that um, that we talked about. But anyways, um, I just see, like, someone's felt like they're being forced to be a certain way or have to do things a certain way. Um... I see them like spending time away from this property or like they go somewhere by themselves a lot to sort of like think about life. I'm hearing meditate maybe. Maybe they take a drug while they meditate. I don't know, like to get more out of it, like get more information. You know how some people take things like psychedelics or something. Like they're envisioning though um, moving on from someone or leaving a situation behind that they don't want to be in anymore. Or leaving a person behind. I'm hearing it's going to be so special. I'm hearing I saw you last night. Um, I'm hearing out by the lake. And then I'm hearing again, let me see beneath your beautiful. I'm hearing something about coffee press. Press release, coffee, coffee release. Release, something with release, letting go of something, release. That's what that's making me think of. I know he's reaching for something. Yeah, page of wands release. I'm hearing self-discovery. I'm hearing, I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkness. I will rescue you. Someone's, it's like they're waiting to be rescued. I don't know why I'm getting like princess in the castle, but I get it's like a prince in the castle. I don't really know. It could go either way, but that's the energy I'm getting. Someone's like dreaming about the day when they're going to leave this place. That's what it is. It makes me think of Fiona in the movie, like, dreaming of when he's going to show up or something, or, like, uh, Rapunzel or something like that, the Tangled movie. Like, that's the vibe that I'm getting. Like, someone's so excited for when they get to be out there. Like, they're looking out the window and they're like, oh, I'm hearing a song. It's like somewhere out there. Like, it's... Da, 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 or something like that. It's like a really dramatic song in a movie. Someday out there, something like that. I am hearing sonogram images again. I don't know, like, maybe someone's with a partner. Like, they're just, they don't want to be with anymore. They feel like they were bi binded, bound to this person somehow, but they're, they're going to be set free or they're going to get free from them. I'm hearing sugar mama and baby mama. I'm hearing evacuate the dance floor, infected by the sound. Infected, infection. I 
don't know. I'm hearing filming you naked. I'm hearing find out more information for me, please. Someone, like, hire someone to watch someone? I don't know. Like, this is this third party again coming through. I didn't even want to read on this, but whatever. Um, they're trying to, like, find out something on this masculine. Find out what he's doing. It's, like, it makes me think of it a movie. You know, like, when they have... Okay, I'm seeing, like... I'm hearing Evil Witch of the, the West. I don't, I don't know. I'm seeing, like, in the movie... I don't know what movie. I feel like there's a lot of movies, like the villain when they have like a little bird or something like go find out like what they're doing they have their little sidekick and they tell them to go find out what's going on like that's what it feels like like someone's like telling giving orders to someone go see what he's doing or go watch him or go film him or something like i don't know i don't know this person could live in like a nice place like they give him a nice cars and stuff but like it's not fulfilling to someone whatever this life is and like they just feel like they're pouring their all their hard work into, like, someone who doesn't deserve it or something. Like, I feel like someone's just, like, very well-dressed or they have, like, really nice jewelry and stuff. Someone here could wear wigs. Is mean coming through? I'm hearing well done, my friend. Like, what is with well done? <laughs> Again, it's coming through. You know what this... Oh, okay. I'm also getting someone is planning their... I'm here planning their escape, their escape plan. They're planning to move into their own place. So if they're living on, like, one property, like, they're envisioning when they're buying their own place, when they're on their own, when they're away from whoever this is, like, when they're by their self or something. I'm hearing back in Florida. Hmm. I keep hearing, like, dramatic music. Like, it's like, da, 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 Like, someone's, like, envisioning this moment as, like, the most miraculous thing ever. Like, once I get out of this place, like, everything's going to change. Yeah, this is going on in someone's head. This is, like, a dream or they're envisioning it. They're planning for it. Something about feeling pressure. Like, they're feeling pressured to get out of here. Like, it's starting to weigh on them like they are feeling like okay like now's the time like it's starting to come close like I'm seeing like a kettle when it's like just about to boil make that noise like steam release sorry I just like flung a bunch of cards yeah that's what I get with the three wands that just flung out there like someone's ready to go they're ready to go they're looking towards the future that's what the three wands is all about it's looking ahead at what's coming being ready to take on something new take on adventure I'm hearing, <clears throat> sorry, plane tickets again. I'm hearing engage again, engagement ring, engage, gauge. That came out, that was the two wands, and we also have the two of cups coming out too. Like someone is envisioning a happy life, like they're not happy where they are, but they're envisioning that and they know they can have it now. It's almost like they've had this realization like, this is possible for me, I can make this happen. Something about sweat, sweating. I'm hearing blankets, blanket of snow or blankets in the snow. Sorry, I'm just gonna send my other, what are they reading? I'm hearing read between the lines. I'm hearing I came in like a wrecking ball. This is on the two of cups. I'm hearing running afraid, running back, running back home, running back football again. I'm hearing restoring my faith in humanity, reconciling, 
restoring. I keep hearing restoring. I'm hearing restoring from a backup, restoring hard drive, receiving event events, receiving notifications, narcissity, narcissity, narcissity in our city. Okay. Oh my god. Someone is like dreaming. They're in one place, but their whole mind is somewhere else. Their whole mind is in a relationship with another person or giving a love offer to another person. Taking a risk. This is all about taking a risk. Like 100%. Someone is dreaming about taking this risk. Like they planned it. They've gotten ready. They're just on the edge. They're about to take the risk. We've been talking about this in the last reading. Like, look at this. They're on the verge of taking this risk. Their whole mind. Like they're not paying attention at all like where they're at they're just like just wait like just a few more days and I'm out of here like it's that that's the energy like I just have to wait a few more days I just keep hearing this dramatic music it sounds like from like the movie how to turn your dragon like one of the scenes where they're flying like da 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 <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone's listening to music like this and thinking about this moment, like, yes, 100%. Someone's like, when I'm rich, when I'm famous, when I'm away from these people, just watch. They're gonna, they're gonna understand, like, I don't know. It's like someone's thinking about this moment. This is definitely travel, like, leaving something behind. This is someone also envisioning uh, where they're going to be in life. Like, they're envisioning, they're manifesting. That's what the Three Wands was about, too. They're manifesting. They're manifesting their future. This going to be a masculine. He's envisioning his future, like, um, home. I don't know why earlier today. I was here in Cash Cab, and that kind of looks like it. I don't know if anyone remembers that show. They, like, ask you questions in the car. I don't know. And you, like, win stuff, and the lights up. I'm hearing Labyrinth. Lab test? Ace of Swords. Hmm. I was gonna say the Ace of Swords in this deck. I was gonna say it's like a double edged sword, which it quite literally is, basically. Um, because it's about telling the truth, but then we also have it looking like a sword. Like it looks like a something dangerous. Like telling the truth is dangerous or something, or. There's like two sides to this. I'm hearing two sides to this story. I'm hearing differing opinions, different opinions. I'm hearing Wakanda forever again. I'm hearing Damien once again, that name. Darnell or Darnell. Gavin, I'm hearing. I'm hearing getting ready to go, getting ready to leave, costing a lot of money, curfew, cologne, something change. I'm hearing Japanese, juice bar, I keep hearing. I'm hearing jet plane, island, something about a song maybe, there's a song. Yeah, someone is like by the water meditating about this. Like this is in their mind. This is all going on in someone's mind, all of this. They are thinking about the future. 100% someone is meditating near water. <clears throat> or in the water. Could be in a bathtub, could be in a pool. They're, they're meditating in water though. I'm hearing car, car, carcinoma. Carcinoma. I'm hearing catalog. I'm hearing firing filming first year university sophomore certainty serving serving my purpose I'm hearing served it's it served its purpose serving my purpose I'm hearing that dramatic music I on <laughs> I'm hearing set me up set me up set me up for failure set serve serve me up serve me up I'm hearing break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar, having a break. Yeah, taking a break, meditating, alone time. Look, like, it's, like, energy coming off of something. Like, this is, like, it makes me think of, like, a signal going out. Like, sending out a signal. 
a sign, sending out a sign, a signal to the universe or something, or like they saw a sign. Also makes me think of a microphone or like speaking into something and like the sound waves going out. It makes me think of, you know what it makes me think of is like the butterfly effect. Like seeing how one little thing, the ripple in the water, like affects everything else. Maybe someone's having like a breakthrough. Again, they could be on drugs or something. I don't know. I keep feeling like someone could be high. But they're like having a mental breakthrough about something. About how life works or something like that. I'm hearing spinning around and around. Round and round, here we go again. Same old story, never ends. Is that Freaky Friday? Turn my head, turn back again. Same old stuff, never ends. I just found out they're doing another Freaky Friday, and I just channeled that recently. Like, I was just channeling something about Freaky Friday, so. thought that was awesome. I love Freaky Friday. I even like the original one, too. I don't know if you guys know that one. I love the original as well. Um, I'm hearing Iceland. Hearing axon, arpeggio. Okay, that was really clear. I was hearing standing down wood, something about unraveling. Tape, tape recorder, tape. I'm hearing Mike Tyson or Tyson. I'm hearing till the end of the road, but I'm hearing till the end of the world. And I'm hearing we'll always find our way back home. I'm hearing what causes you to think this way. Thought process. Processing. Processor. Nightingale. New new model. New module. I'm hearing Mark Anthony. I'm hearing Rabbi. Um, run it by you. I'm hearing grab on. I keep hearing gravitation, gravitational pull, pulling you in. Like I said, like, I don't know, sing, sing, sending out a signal. Like someone, I said, reaching for something, grabbing for something, like feeling pulled towards something, like called to something, called to a higher purpose. Like, I swear this is the message. Someone feels called to do something. It could be um, voicing their opinion about something, like standing up for people that don't have rights or like standing up for people, something about, yeah, the rights of people that can't speak for themselves or something like that. Like they, someone's standing up for something. I'm hearing stepping down or resigning from a position once again. That could be coming, I don't know, something could be going on with that. I don't know why I'm hearing custodial right now, custodial position. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I'm hearing cabaret. I'm hearing cue the lights. I don't know. I keep seeing like a microphone. Oh my god, why am I seeing Shrek right now? And like, do you know when they end the movie when they all like sing karaoke or something? I'm saying like, I thought love was only true in fairy tales. <laughs> Meant for someone else, but not for me. <laughs> love is out to get me, that's the way it seems in all my dreams. And then I saw her face. And now I'm a believer, not a trace. Doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I feel like someone's like ready to scream it from the rooftops. Like, I'm in love. I love the world. Like, I love love. I don't know. This is like the energy. I swear there's something with a microphone though. I, I'm hearing weird things. I don't know. I'm hearing skin of the rabbit hair of the dog. Don't really know what that's going on with. Um... Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, poisoning, I don't know. Willards, wellards, again that word coming through. I'm hearing, oh my god, I keep hearing that song. Whispering in my ear, tell me all the things that I want to hear, cause it's true. That's what I like about you. What is it? Up, down, all around. Da, 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 da. You really know how to dance. Yeah, someone's gonna, like, express what they like about someone, what they feel about you. This is their idea. They had this idea to do this thing. They're really passionate about whatever this is. This is all, like, wands energy. Someone's super passionate about some idea that they have to share something. To speak about something. It's something with their words, like, what they're putting out. Like, they're really excited about this. 
I'm here cast iron, skillet, cast on, gaston, makes me think of, I'm here French, um, makes me think of tea, I'm here in compass, like, uh, the teapot, gaston, is that, f oh my god, I keep hearing French, um, I'm hearing fresh French crits of Bel Air, uh, oh my god, Bell. I keep wanting to say Shrek, too. I don't know what's with that. Um, I feel like I, the words are not coming out. Yeah, this could be, again, someone feeling like their words aren't coming out. They're getting ready to share something that they're really passionate about saying, singing, saying, apparently, everything. I'm hearing Alex, Alexandria, Alexander, Grand Bell. I don't know, something with Alex again. That name always comes through. Um... I'm hearing Christian, Christianity, Christian Dior. Where am I going? Why does this happen? I, like, go to say things, and then I end up on this, like, trail down... I'm hearing down memory lane in all the different circles of my mind. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Bell. Bell. Makes me think of ringing a bell. Announcement. Like, hey, announcement. Like, clinking the glasses. Like, I have an announcement to make. Ringing the bell, ringing the doorbell. It makes me think of church bells as well. I'm hearing ding dong, the witch is dead. I got, oh my god, what is happening? It's like I can't focus. It's like everything's just all of a sudden was just like, which is, looks just like this card. Like everything's just going everywhere. Okay. Bell is from the movie Beauty and the Beast. That is what I was trying to say from the very beginning. Gaston, I think that's like a character in it. Isn't he like the lamp or something? The light? Something about sharing the light, shining light on something. Yeah, because he looks like the light is shining down on him in this card. I'm hearing, wake me up when it's all over, when I'm wiser and I'm older. Guess all this time I've um, something to myself, didn't know I was lost. I used to love that song. Um... Wake me up when it's all over. Yeah, when I'm wiser, when I'm older. Wake me up. Once again, waking people up. Waking up all the people around them with their words, with their speaking. Wake me up. As in also, it says when I'm wiser, when I'm older. Didn't That song talks about being lost. Didn't know I was lost. Like everyone's saying like, I don't know. The way I used to interpret it is like, people saying you're lost. Like, but I, it's like I didn't know I was lost. Like the whole time you were just like living life, enjoying it. Like, you know, as a kid, like, people are like, oh, you gotta find yourself, you gotta find your path, like, go this way, like, do this, telling you what to do, where to go, and then, but it's like, I didn't know I was lost. I thought that, you know, I could just be what I want to be, like, kind of like that. It's like, I don't know. It's something about finding your path. Something about, like, figuring out what you want to do in life. Like, I don't know why this card does make me feel like someone just, like, realized their passion, like, realized what they're meant to do. That's, like, the feeling. It's like, now they want to share it, they want to speak it. And a microphone. I don't know. They want to sing it. And it's something about waking other people up. Like that song, when we listened to it, it was my first year of university that they played that. Um, yeah, it was like a, a song. Uh, they were singing it on stage. Or like they were playing it from stage. I don't know. And um, I, don't, I just remember it just being like such a happy vibe that day. Like it was just such a good energy. I'm hearing calling all angels. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing so many songs. Tonight, the night is still young. The night is still young. So many songs. I'm hearing DJ, maybe that's why. Two of Pentacles. This, the Two of Pentacles could explain why I was like all over the place with my words. Like, someone has a lot to say they just don't know exactly what to say or they're nervous about what to say they have a lot they want to say there's like so many different things so many different moving parts to this because like juggling it all they also don't want to look dumb it's something about they don't want to look like a fool they don't want to look stupid in front of a bunch of people something about the atmosphere i'm hearing Atmospheric pressure. I don't know what's with that. Um, gravitational pull, something about atmospheric pressure. Just keep getting like random messages. I'm just gonna look up the night is still young. I like, I don't know why. I also get like a really nice vibe with that song. 
It used to make me so happy, this song. I don't know why. Mm, okay. Oh my god, it says Moscato in this song. I kept channeling that. Okay, it says, yo, yo, the night is, <laughs> tonight is the night that I'm gonna get twisted. That's interesting, because in this card, the thing that I kept seeing spiral is, like, all twisted around it. I'm gonna get twisted. It says, mix, mis oh, jeez, that was long. Mix Moscato and vodka, I'm gonna mix it. That could explain why someone feels like they can't speak and they're really out of it, because, I don't know, maybe they're high or they're drunk on something. Like, that's how it feels. It says, roll that spaceship, we about to get lifted. As I'm talking about atmospheric pressure and gravitational whatever. My other reading, I kept hearing stuff about, like, I'm hearing airspace right now, aerospace. It makes me think of Aerosmith as well. What was it in the last readings? I kept hearing, like, um, cruise control and altitude. Interesting. So, roll that spaceship, we about to get lifted. Live in the present. The gift is for the gifted. Wow. Hmm. That's what I was just talking about, living in the present moment. That the gift is for the gifted. This what you came for. This what you came for. You get what you buy. This what you paid for. So make sure the stars is what you aim for. Make mistakes though. See like this song and the other song are both about like living life to the fullest. And like just like enjoying life and not feeling bad for that. And like just being, I don't know. Like I said, being happy. Like something about happiness and like following your path in life. Like going for the stars. Like going for the things you really want to go for. I don't know. It says, I never worry. Life is a journey. I just want to enjoy the ride. What is the hurry? It's pretty early. It's okay. We'll take our time. The night is still young, and so are we. It says, drinks on you, drinks on me. We ain't going nowhere. Like tanks is on E. As in, like, gas tank empty. I just said something about filling up the gas tank the other day. Um, or in the last read. Uh, it says, we still getting money. Which bank is it going to be? If he's sexy, he planking on me. So when them big boys want all of that... Tell the bartender, say my order back. Again, something about a bar. Um, it's bottle service. He ordered that. Might let him take it home. And Yeah, that word probably can say on YouTube. He got friends for all of my friends. They ain't leave until we say when. And we gonna hang over the next day, but we remember this day. So drop the pop and get low, or we can drop the top and just cruise. Drop the top and just cruise. I've been talking about cruise, cruise control, the car, or something about a cruise ship. Also, did anyone see there's like some random news story, I don't know if it's true, about a fight that broke out on a cruise recently. Anyways, um, I don't even know where it was, I just like saw a post about it, I don't know if it's true, but yeah. Um, it says, we fresh to death down to the shoes, my only motto in life is don't lose. I never worry, life is a journey, I just want to enjoy the ride, what is the hurry? Yeah, like I swear, it's all about someone just like very enhancing their life like going after what they're passionate about I just really get that there's there's definitely something with like speaking or words or a message they want to put a message out there or they want to share a message with someone they're trying to figure out the right words to put it in but it's like they're super passionate about it and it's like the message is really just like I keep hearing reach up for the stars climb every mountain high and reach up for the stars and when that rainbow's shining over you, that's when your dreams will all come true. And in the first part, I was talking about Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It makes me think of Lucky Charms, like <laughs> the luck, the pot of gold, the end of the rainbow. I don't know. I swear, it's, it's like inspiring people. Something is inspiring, something is like waking people up is just what I keep getting like um, spreading. Something is spreading, but like in a good way. Oh my god, this is like the last reading that I talked about with the light. It kept going outwards and it was like spreading. It's like... I keep hearing hologram globe. I don't know. Um, I'm hearing something about like a globe. Like one of those ones you get Christmas time with a little stuff in it. And then you like shake it up. I'm hearing shake it up as in like shaking up the world. Like a new perspective on life. And a new way... We talked about at the beginning. Something about... Um, a leader, like a, a leader role changing, potentially. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, as in, like, someone, you know, leading a nation or, like, the a change in, like, the way that the world's run? I feel like this is a lot. I asked what's coming up in the future events, but, um, like, constitutional rights, something about fighting for people with no voice, but also, it's something about waking people up and telling them they do have a voice. That's what I'm hearing. Um... Something about passion. 
changing the way we look at things. Um, I just keep seeing, like, the something about the person or, like, the people in charge or, like, the way that something is run is going to change. I feel like, I'm mean, hearing it's, like, uh, okay. I'm hearing Bigger Than Us. It's a song. I want to look it up really badly. It's on my phone. I'm just waiting for this to transfer. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I just realized it's probably loud. Um, one second. So, I just looked up that song, Bigger Than Us. Uh, it's, like, very moving. I don't know. I'll, I'll read you guys the lyrics. I used to listen to this song, like, years ago when I was, like, going through difficult times, like, with my other business in the past. So, I don't know. Anyways, this is the song. It says, <clears throat> I don't want to end up in a hospital room holding nobody's hand. I don't want to end up drunk alone on a roof wanting what I don't have. I don't want to end up looking back on my birthday like ran like the random Thursdays. No, I don't want to end up like that. I want a life that's bigger than all of the houses I want to buy for my friends. A life that's bigger than every person who ever told me I can't. I'll look back and want to be remembered for what I did, not for what I had. A life that's bigger than bigger than the fears I have. And you have to listen to this song to get the full vibe of it. I really like the like. There's a um, a more like upbeat version. I don't know what to say, but then there's like an acoustic one, I like that one the best, um, and then it repeats like bigger than us, bigger than us, I want to be bigger than, I want to say the right words every time that I speak, oh my god, have everyone listen, that's literally what we were just saying, I want to say the right words every time that I speak, have everyone listen, I want to be my own boss so I don't feel so lost and be more ambitious, that's exactly what someone's like dreaming about here. I want to learn how to love whoever I want like it's nobody's business. I want to, yeah, I want to end up like that. I want a life that's bigger than, and it repeats all the houses I want to buy for my friends. A life that's bigger than every person told me I can't. I'll look back, and I want to be remembered for what I did, not what I had. Life is bigger than, yeah. Um, and then it says, I want a life that's bigger than... Okay, I just repeat, sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the song. I don't know. I swear, someone's like seeing a vision of this life and they're like I think it's almost in reach like that's what it looks like with this card like something something is almost in reach like I'm I'm right there I'm at the precipice I keep hearing I'm so close yeah it has to do with speaking in words like it's sharing something involving a passion in words a message getting a message out there or sending a message to a particular person like they're like one step away is almost what it feels like because the Knight of Swords talks about, like, um, messages. It also talks about, like, very fast movement, very focused, very driven, determined on, like, one thing. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. Someone almost feels, like, a little bit out of control. Like, they're kind of like, oh, my God, like, I've never done this before. This is a little bit scary. Like, I've never really went out of my comfort zone or something, and now I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. That's how it feels. But it's like they can see the vision, like, so clearly. They can see it in their mind. And as I was saying, you can see in your mind, like there's that quote, if you see in your mind, you can hold in your hand, right? Like that is what I'm getting. I'm hearing cross the line. I'm hearing walk the line, Johnny Cash. Walk the line. Oh my gosh. Should I look it up, guys? I don't know. Who here likes the songs, actually? <laughs> I love the songs. Like they help so much, honestly, though. Like if I didn't have songs, I don't know what I would do. They help so much, well, in general, in life, but... Thank you to everyone out there who makes music. Honestly, you make life better. That's the thing, too. I think there's also this thing about, like, you know, you always have to do something that's just, like, traditional or, you know, the only people that help us in lives are, like, in, in our lives are, like, you know, obviously the important people, like, doctors and nurses and all those kind of people. But it's also, like, we also need the people that inspire us or, or make us happy. Like, you know, what would life be with all those other things, too? Something like, you know, like, the people that dance and, like, I don't know, bring joy to the world as well. Like, sometimes I guess maybe someone thinks it's, like, a lesser job or or maybe someone's family thinks that about them, you know? Like, why would you want to be that? Like, that's not accomplishing anything, but really it is, you know? Like, it's actually so powerful. Like, words are so powerful. You never know, like, how your song or something you wrote could touch someone. Like, just a piece of, like, a poetry, something you wrote. Um, a random video you share, like, you know, like a real, even, you never know, like, who you're touching your life, like, that sounds weird, but anyways, there was just this post today, some guy was talking about, um, he's talking about NDE stories, like, near-death experiences, which you guys know, if you watch my other videos, I had, like, an interest in for a bit, but, um, he talks about 
how there's this one lady who's talking about where she was watching back all the like really significant moments in her life or something like she was talking about her experience with this and she said that it was weird because the significant moments were like the ones that she didn't really think a lot about but it was how they affected other people and that's why this card is so relevant because it was the ripple effect so she basically saw the ripple effect of she said she like gave two dollars or something to some lady in line who like couldn't afford something like she needed two more dollars so she gave it to her and then she got to see how that affected her life and how like that lady went on to like I don't know it was like that small bit of kindness ended up changing someone's life like they ended up changing their whole life because of that two dollars like she was just so moved by it and she ended up working at like some new job or something and I don't know it was something like that and it's kind of like we don't get to see that right so it's kind of realizing that everything you do matters there's nothing you do that doesn't matter, that doesn't have an effect. Because I always say everything is connected. Everything happens for a reason. And yeah, like you don't know how you've affected someone by one small thing you did for them. Like you just don't know how much one little thing you say could change someone's life. And that's also why it's important to say nice things too. Because you never know how much like harsh words can affect someone as well, right? So, because you never know what's going on in someone's life. So, um... I don't know. I feel like this is very, very important because I feel like someone here could feel as well like someone changed their life and I think that's why we keep getting the message about paying it forward and the ripple effect because when you help one person, that person ends up wanting to help more people and they help more people and they help more people and it just keeps on going. That's the pay it forward thing. I don't know if you guys have seen the pay it forward movie. It's really sad, but I, th I don't know what it's called if that's the name of it, but... I remember watching that movie and just thinking like how moving it was back when I watched it, but it reminds me of that. So it's like a candle, like you light one and then that, you can light more candles and more candles and more candles, you know? That's what it reminds me of, or like a match or something. It's like one match can start a whole fire in terms of like passion or something, inspiring people. All you need is one match. I'm hearing a song, uh, again, sorry with the songs, like, um, small boat on the ocean, making, turning big waves in emotion, like every single word could make a heart open, this is my fight song, take back my life song, prove I'm alright song, oh my god I'm like the energy I just can't this is so beautiful guys that song too you see like I don't know I don't know that song and the fact that it's talking about waves making waves we just talked about this in the last video making waves taking the risk catching the wave but it also makes me think of once again causing waves in an ocean one little thing like one little splash in the ocean causes an entire wave i talked about that ripple effect <sighs> this is what this is about this is so beautiful and it all started because like one little word one nice thing i don't know if you guys take anything from this reading i know like this is so just sounds cheesy but really just Think about the small things that you do for people, like the little things that you do in your life or the small ways you can make someone happy in your day, like, I don't know. Out of this video, if I can spread any bit of positivity, like, from this video, you know, next time you go get coffee or something, buy the person behind you a cup of coffee or something like this. Do something nice for someone based on this video. Let's just, I don't know. I want to, like, start something with this, like, or, I don't know. Leave a nice quote in the comments or something. Leave your favorite quote in the comments or just some way you can brighten someone's day. Something in the comments, you can leave um, either a quote that really motivates you or uplifts you or just like some words that someone said to you that changed your life in a positive way. Like, leave that in the comments. I would love to hear it. So I think we should do that more often. I don't know. Just, I don't know. It's the vibe, guys. Something's going on with that. But, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. What song are we looking up? Anyways, I walk the line. I'm so distracted now. Hope you guys are still with me. If you are, thank you. It says, I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. Because you're mine, I walk the line. I find it very, very easy to be true. I find myself alone when each day is through. Yes, I'll admit that I'm a fool for you. Because you're mine, I walk the line. 
because you're mine, I walk the line. This literally, I remember designing this card and I was trying to put like a line. I wanted originally, I was going to put a line across here as if they're walking a line, like, you know, a tightrope. So that's such a message. They feel imbalanced. They feel like they're doing something that's so out of their comfort zone or so crazy for them to be doing. That's how someone feels right now. Like, what they're doing, and they're taking a risk because of love. Like, that is really what I get here. Like, someone's taking a risk because of love, because of something... I don't know, you said something nice to this person once in their life, like, they couldn't get it out of their head, or you inspired them to take a risk on something, and someone wants to thank you. Like, that's really the energy that I get. Someone's doing something out of love, though. Like, it's out of love, out of knowing that they deserve better, knowing that there's a better life there, like, out there for them. I just keep getting, like, someone can see a better life for themselves, and they're like, I know I can have it, I know I can have it, I know it's possible, and I'm gonna make it happen. Like, they're finally gonna take the action. They're finally gonna take the risk on this life. Because it's like, they don't want something to pass them by. So as sure as night is dark and day is light, I keep you on my mind both day and night, and happiness I've known proves that it's right, because you're mine, I walk the line. It says, you've got a way to keep me on your side. You give me cause for love that I can't hide, once again. Someone, I swear someone, like, wrote music, or they were inspired by something you said, and they wanted to turn it into something, you know? Like, that's just what I keep getting. Like, it's someone's words. Um, it says, for you I know I'd even try to turn the tide, <laughs> once again, the water well. Because you're mine, I'll walk the line. I keep a close watch on his heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. Because you're mine, I'll walk the line. Man. I'm also hearing, I'll follow you into the darkness. Into the jungle. I'm hearing Jericho on this card, which is kind of funny. It sort of looks like her, like the lady that sings it. Kind of looks like her, um, something she would uh, wear. I feel <laughs> Jericho, that song. I'm hearing something about the constellations and the stars again. Shooting for the stars, constellations, the stars. Oh my god, yeah. I'm hearing I, I know what I have to do. That is exactly what I'm hearing with these cards. I'm hearing I know what I have to do. This is what I pulled. If you guys can see, we have temperance. Again with the water, we have the chariot, and we have the knight of pentacles. Super determined, forward moving energy, and something about making things right, balancing balancing things. Up. This is like such a good balance. I feel like it's like moving forward quickly, but also like being balanced about it, like in a good energy. Like I, I feel like someone is like making good progress forward, but they're not out of balance. Like they're working on this part of things. Like, they're feeling out of balance about something or stressed out about it. Like, I see someone kind of, like, pulling back their energy every time they get stressed out. So maybe in the past, someone was just like, go, go, go all the time. Gotta work hard. Gotta make money. Gotta do this. Not taking any breaks. Like, not... Kind of, like, being really hard on themselves or something. And now I see someone kind of, like, taking the time out to also, like, relax or live life. Like, realizing that life is more than just working every day, making money all the time, or it shouldn't be so hard. Like, that is what I see. Something about um, putting more effort into, like, their self, their physical body, like, working on themselves, as in internally, too, like, their health. Like, there's a balance between, yeah, like, the, as I've talked about before, like, the yin and the yang in my other channel. A balance between that, which is, like, super important with the whole, the universe, right? Because everything is always in perfect balance like we give energy and energy comes back like there's always as they say like energy is never created or destroyed so like anytime you're putting out energy like you're gonna eventually get something back from that so but there's also a limit like to how much you're putting out and how much you need to, like like you can't just force all the time like force obviously we all know that like forcing something never really works we've talked about this in the other reading but you put out like a little bit of energy like you start a small wave and then that wave gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, it just, all it takes is, like, something little. One thought, one word, you know. Like, things start small, but they progress. And I see that. It's like a steady progress over time rather than, like, rushing something or trying to, I don't know. Again, I just see someone, like, pulling back every time they get into this, like, anxious energy again or they start forcing things again. That's when they pull back and, like, ease into things. It's really good. It's, like, 
moving forward quickly, but not in a way that's like too stressful. I'm hearing table for two, something about a date in the future. Damien, I'm hearing again. <laughs> Does he know I'm here, I'm hearing? I keep hearing go back to where you came from. I'm not sure what that message is about. It makes me think of someone from another planet because I keep thinking now of Jericho, that song, and she kind of looks like she's like from another planet. Like, not in a bad way. Like, I find her fascinating. I love her music. I feel like she's so different, though. Maybe someone doesn't like it because it's different. Something is, someone is different or something is different here. Someone doesn't like different. Or like go back to where you came from or go back to... I don't know. But I feel like someone's unfazed. Like I see unfazed energy. Like very calm. Very much like... Just like unreactive to if there's like people around that are telling someone like you can't do this. Or like you shouldn't do this. This is not good for you. Like, you need to just do what we are telling you to do. Like, this person's unfazed, even if there's negative comments made, or if they're, like, um, yeah, someone's, like, saying rude things about them or something. I just see them being, like, cool. Like, I'm moving on. <laughs> I'm hearing, moving on up, uh, get on up, moving up. I don't know, it's a song. I keep hearing garden. Garden of Eden? Garden of something about Egypt? I'm hearing Arcadia again. Arkansas? Arkin? I keep hearing Arken? Arken? I'm hearing It's All I Want, and then I'm hearing that song, All I want is, and all I need is to find somebody, find somebody like you. Yeah, see? What did I just say, man? Look at it. They're unfazed. I'm like, sorry, I can't hear you. What'd you say? Yeah, no, I was too busy focusing on myself. That's cool. <laughs> this is the energy, which is so important. It's so important not to be reactive to things, right? Because when you're reactive, you're just, once again, giving more of the energy. You're just giving more of that, and you're going to get it back. Like, energy is not created or destroyed, so every time you get more angry at someone, you're going to get that back. So... Again, brings me back to the golden rule from my kindergarten classes, which was like, do unto others as you would do to yourself, or I don't know, something like that. Basically, treat others the way you want to be treated. No matter the way they're treating you, that's the thing. You have to kind of like, that's the hard part, I think, for most of us, is not being reactive when we're doing the right thing, but then someone else is still giving us that energy. But the more we don't react, the more that will no longer happen to us. Like, the more people will be in the same vibe, the same energy as us. I keep hearing treble clef. Oh my gosh. It's falling. Um, oh my god, it keeps falling. It's a tree that's falling. Maybe that's a message. Oh my god, you know what this just made me think of? Uh, a tree that's falling. Wow. Did I just start recording on here? I don't even remember. I'm so confused if I was recording my phone around here. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, this, I just heard a tree that was falling and I just dropped it twice. Um, this makes me think of too, like something that's been growing for years or that's been like the way of the world for like years or something, you know, like a system or like a network. It's just been like the way we've always done things or something. And I just dropped it. Like the tree, it's like cutting down a tree. Or the tree falling over. As in, like... I feel like it's the way the world is changing. Or, like, the way we do things is changing. You know? I hear crop duster. Or, like, a storm knocking out the tree. Like... I just feel like it's something coming that's, like, going to shake the roots of something or the system or, like, the way a family has always done things, like, generational things. A family is, like, we've always done things this way. This is the way we do things. You must always do things the same way we do things because that's just the way it is. And someone's, like, I'm not going to do that anymore. And it's just, like, the tree's falling over. I don't know. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. It's just, like, this is no longer the way we do things. I feel like there's going to be a new tree that starts to grow in its place. Oh my god, that makes me think of the movie Wally -E again. I feel like I'm getting chills from that. The little, when they plant the little seed or the little seedling. Like, it's like... That makes me think of the phoenix, or like, you know, from Ashes? 
when you like plant something new, something rises from nothing, from dust, from, I don't know, this is so, I don't know if I like that vibe, but yeah, like, I'm seeing, like, destruction, or, like, a storm, or something, and then, like, from that, though, comes, like, this new life, or, like, this new beautiful thing, like, obviously, it's, like, metaphorical, hopefully speaking, but, um, yeah, like, something new taking root instead of whatever this old system was, old system of beliefs, that's really what I see. I'm hearing starting again. I'm also hearing standing on your own. Your own two feet, standing on your own. Makes me think of a child standing up for the first time. See, I don't know. I get like fresh eyes looking at the world in a new way, a new perspective, like a child does when it's like a newborn. They're like, wow, everything's so beautiful. Everything's so exciting, so amazing. Like we talked about in the other reading. Um... <clears throat> There's actually, yeah, like, um, Alan Watts in, like, some of his videos, I don't know if you guys listen to him, um, he talks about, too, like, looking at a tree, I think also Eckhart Tolle talks about this in his books, looking at a tree and, like, the way we look at it, like, normally we just walk by and we're like, yeah, that's a tree, that's great, that's a tree, but, like, as a kid, it's like, whoa, that thing's so cool, like, look how tall it is, like, they're so fascinated by it, and it's all about perspective, too, like, we can all look at the same tree in a different way, but also, like, part of it is just, like, looking at it and just looking at it for what it is. I don't know if that makes any sense, but whatever. I don't know. That made me think of that. It's just the way you look at things. Perspective. I'm hearing sharing information, I'm hearing living on the edge, new world, I'm hearing new world order, again with that message, I'm hearing Arma, 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 Armani, Armadillo, again that makes me think of like protection, rolling in a ball, rolling up, hiding away, Hercules I'm hearing, I'm hearing hello from the other side, yeah, sorry, I can't be perfect. I'm also hearing the song um, Invincible. I think this was called Never Let Down and a Feeling, Feeling Invincible. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. Because this is supposed to be the Three Cups, but then it's like there's this kind of spirit energy there. And that makes me think of once again, like being one, like everything being one, like coming together as one. Like there's two people here, but there's only one like spirit in the background. I'm hearing that song again. There comes a moment when my heart must stand alone on this lonely path I've chosen like a house it's not a home. And when I feel like giving up, you will me to be all I can be. Now nothing can stop me. Again, this is talking about spreading positivity, waking other people up to the fact that they also are powerful, that they also can do great things. Like, I don't know, it's something like that. Now nothing can stop me. I see something like an interview on TV. Like someone being like, I don't know, I see a TV interview. Like, asking someone about to share their ideas or share their concepts or something about um, a certain thing they have a lot of knowledge on. Like, because Seven of Pentacles also makes me think of, like, a lot of knowledge, a lot of background knowledge, like, um, history. I'm hearing history in the making. Hercules. I don't know why I keep hearing that. I'm hearing Hemingway. Hemingway. My voice cracked. Venezuela. Lightning Bolt. Costa Rica. I'm hearing Canal. 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 Something Canal. Can I, can I, sorry, I was hearing something else. I'm hearing Reba, Riz, Rizali, Riz, Rimali, Ramalia, Somalia, Corrosion, Esoteric, I don't know. See, I swear, there's something about walking away from a different way of living, like an old way of living. I really get that. Also, someone here, obviously, walking away from a third party, walking away from a home, a family, generational ways of doing things that they no longer believe in or no longer agree with. This could be even on a grander scale because as we see, these messages tend to resonate 
in multiple ways. So this could be like an entire a hearing universe community like system like walking away from the way that we've always done things like changing the way we've always done things or looked at things in life like this could be like bigger like I keep hearing constitutional <laughs> something about this like walking away from the way we've always done things or something like that I'm hearing wouldn't you like to know <laughs> I don't know I'm hearing we're so close and then I'm hearing again you'll always find your way back home yeah this is a message I've had coming through too, like, you'll always find your way back home, as in, like, it doesn't matter what you do in this lifetime, like, you'll always still be a part of, like, this whole, this one, you know, God, spirit, like, everything, like, there's no way to really, I don't know how to explain it, like, everyone always feels like, you know, there's a way to mess that up, or, like, the things you do in your life, but, like, really, there's no judgment other than the judgment you put on yourself, because you, everything around you in your reality is a reflection of you, everything in reality is, like, yeah, it's your own judgment on yourself. I don't know how to explain that. Like, everything you experience, like, you end up causing. So everything is a reflection of how you, how you feel about yourself. So really, you're the only one judging yourself. Like, you're not judged as when you come back to the part of the whole. It's just, you're just experiencing for the sake of experiencing a certain type of lifetime or a certain type of... I don't know how to explain this, but yeah. Like, you'll always find your way back home, as in, like, even this lifetime, if you feel like you're failing, or you feel like something's not going the way you expect it to be, or whatever, like, you're always whole. Like, you're always still you, which your true self is, like, God, the universe, like, that's you at your core. That's really the real you. So anything you do in this lifetime is really just you playing as God in this, like, experience, or playing as, you know, universe source, sorry, I know some people don't like when I use certain references, but playing as this character, you're playing this role to experience yourself in this reality, it's kind of like playing, like I say, the soul's playground, you're playing, but when you're done playing, you go back home, aka you go back to source, you go back to light, you go back to God, um, and there, there's no judgment, there's no judgment, there's no hate, there's no nothing, but just being like it just is so I don't know it's something like that so every time we're so worried about little things in our life like it really we really can't mess up that's the thing we're really just experiencing we're just here for the experience we're here for the ride you know it's supposed to be fun like a roller coaster ride I don't know it's, it really feels like that sometimes but it's also like you know the surfing like we talked about like catching a wave like it's just a short amount of time so you know make the best of it it's a gift yeah um, yeah, again, transformation, I just, literally, walking away from the way we've done things, transformation, change, becoming something new, I'm hearing illuminating, I'm hearing lustrous, I'm also hearing selling off everything, so I'm going to be selling off a property or cars or something like this. Deciding certain things they no longer want anymore. I really feel like this is a time of like a lot of people leaving connections that they feel they no longer like should have to deal with. Or like they feel they deserve more. Like I just feel like this is a time of a lot of people walking away from things that are no longer serving them. That they don't need in their life anymore. That they're realizing don't bring them happiness or value or add anything to their life and they're like you know why have I been waiting this long to do this why don't I just take the risk you know why don't I just do the thing and I'm not telling everyone to go out there and just do that <laughs> please use your own discretion but yeah that's just kind of what I get is someone just being like you know like why why not it's kind of like why not why not why not take a crazy chance why not why not do a crazy dance if you lose a moment you may lose a life, so why not, why not, why not? See, all these songs are about um, taking a risk, doing the thing that scares you, because if you don't, like, like, I don't know, it's kind of like, either way, like, there's a risk. There's a risk if you stay where you are, or there's a risk if you go and do the thing you want to do. Like, either way, there's always going to be a risk. Like, there's a risk of regretting something for the rest of your life and not being happy, or there's a risk of you do the thing and maybe it doesn't quite work out the way you expect, but you still learn something from it, you still tried, and you don't have that regret, right? I don't know. 
I feel like we can learn a lot from the, from Disney Channel songs because I'm also there's another song that always comes through lately. It's um, who says who says I can't be ten feet tall? I say I say that I can have it all. Who says I can't be president? I say I say you ain't to nothing yet. See, I swear there's something like bigger going on. I don't know, guys. Yeah. As I'm hearing Matchbox 20, I don't know. Something with the Matchbox, though, again. Starting starting something. Starting it up. Starting the engine. Revving the engine, I'm hearing. Running away. And then I'm hearing that song again. You'll always find your way back home. I'm hearing Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> it almost sort of reminds me of Kentucky Fried Chicken. I know it doesn't look a lot like him. It's just like the mustache. And the Magician. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like... I was gonna say flabbergasted, I don't use that word, blown away by this card, like this stuff. Look at it. Transformation, walking away from something, and we have the magician card. It's knowing that you have all the tools to do this. You have all the tools to walk away and take the risk. Like as in, even if you take this risk, it's like you know that you're gonna be successful, or you know something's gonna work out. Like someone is very confident in this, or there's just like this deep knowing of like, if I do this, like, I just have this feeling like my life's going to change, like, for the better. Like, something good is going to come of this. I don't know. That's kind of how it feels. Or the universe is trying to tell you, like, you have everything you need to be able to accomplish all the things you want to accomplish in your life. Like, it's not... There's nothing holding you back except yourself. Like, it's just you. It's you versus you, as they say. There really is all it is. I'm hearing reconciling as well with this card. I'm also hearing reconciling our differences... Realizing who we're supposed to be. I'm hearing reputation. I'm also hearing ready or not. Here I come, gonna find you. I'm hearing old uh, relics, something about that as well. I'm hearing living la vida loca, living la vida loca. Inside, outside, da 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 da. What is that other saying? Live in the Vito, loca. I'm hearing somebody else. Uh, carpe diem, seize the day. That's that's really this reading, honestly. This is how someone's feeling. This is how masculine's feeling. This is how many people I feel are feeling right now. It's like I see my future. I envision my future. I know I can get there. I know it's possible. It's like I know there's a way out of this. I know there's a way out of this situation. I know things are gonna get better. It's like, I just know. And it has to do with, once again, like, spreading positivity. It's the way that you speak about things, the words that you're sharing. I'm sorry, I know I'm repeating this stuff in my readings, but I think that's important. Repetition's important too, right? Repeating positive things to yourself, saying the right things every day to yourself. Um, yeah, there's definitely something about recognizing your purpose, finding your purpose, or just feeling like you're making a difference. But once again... It doesn't have to be big. It can be so small, but it can change the world by one little thing that you do. One small thing. I'm hearing, like, once... That message came through a lot in past readings. One small step for man, like, one huge step for... What is it? I always say it wrong. Mankind. Humanity. That's how this feels. It's like, don't think that what you're doing doesn't matter. Don't think that what you're saying to the universe, if you're saying affirmations, if you're saying something positive to someone or you're trying your best to do well in life like don't think that it doesn't matter or it doesn't mean anything like everything you do has meaning you're you have meaning the reason you have a purpose for being here like on this planet everyone has a purpose and it doesn't have to be this big thing that you figure out your purpose is quite literally like, to spread positivity to be a good person in this life to Love the people around you, you know? Like, show them that you care, and... Yeah, I don't know. It's just, like, just know that, um... I just feel like there's just this message of, like, just know that your message is being heard. Or what you're saying is, like, yeah. As in, like, your prayers, what you're hoping for, it's being heard. It's like, um, I'm hearing that saying, like, it's not going on deaf ears. Something like that. 
and to also have faith in it too to keep insanely like we talked about in the past read but that's what this is like insanely focused on this message that you're saying or what you're putting out no matter what like every time something deters you or you question yourself or you're like no that can't be possible or someone on the outside says something to you just say it again just keep at it just keep repeating the message keep visualizing your future that you want keep keep on course like as in just keep the faith keep the faith yeah if anything keep the faith in this message that you're putting out continuously and I, I say this like I was gonna make a video about this eventually on my manifesting channel too but when you're like manifesting something and you start to stress over it you start to think I don't know how this is gonna be possible I don't know how this is gonna work out and you get nervous and you're questioning if you're doing things right literally just breathe and just start affirming for what you want or start uh, visualizing for what you want and don't think about it literally just don't think <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but don't think about it like be as just neutral as possible just say it don't even think about what you're saying don't even think about why you're saying it. like just say it just visualize it and that's it every time you get stressed out just don't you don't have to think about how it's gonna work that's what the universe does the universe is working with you right so that's its job so your job is literally just to tell it what you're going for and to stay focused on what you're telling it that's it that's all you have to do is just tell the universe your message stay focused on that message and it will do the rest I just felt like I really had to say that <laughs> and also as you're doing it too, realize that things aren't meant to be so hard life is meant to be fun you know again we're here for experience and the dolphin I always get that with dolphins are like they're very joyous they have fun in life like they they're in a lot of tarot decks they're they represent like communication and like fun and playfulness so yeah like don't be so serious too about life and like what you're saying and what you're putting out like we talked about a balance between like being serious and being like okay I gotta do this gotta do that, that and also relaxing and just allowing things to happen and unfold because it's not about the destination it's about the experience because our destination we're all gonna end up there one day so you don't need to rush it Anyways, um, I think I'm going to end it here. I don't know why, guys. My messages are getting, like, deep lately. <laughs> deep like the ocean. I don't know. There's something going on with the ocean, boats, and water, and motion, and uh, a motion in the ocean I'm hearing. Okay, interesting. Um, flowing water I'm hearing. Waterfall. I'm hearing waiting, waiting on the world to change. Yeah, we're not waiting anymore. That's the thing. I'm not waiting. I'm making it happen <laughs> um yeah i'm seeing like a waterfall and then like the wheel spinning what is that i don't know something for energy it's something like that that's what i'm seeing but that's like emotional energy right like you're putting your passion into something and it's causing movement in the world it's causing movement around you like you don't see it once again you might not see it but it's happening it's like happening beneath the surface of an ocean or something that's what i'm saying like there's movement there's things happening that you don't even know about and like once again I feel like I have to repeat this like I'm feeling guided to say it like your message is being heard your message is being heard if you're worried your message is being heard okay so just chill is what I'm getting chill um don't worry it's being heard just stay focused on it but don't stress yourself out just say it don't think about it just yeah remain positive Anyways, so yeah, that is the message. Um, in terms of waterfall, I was also hearing don't go changing, don't go chasing waterfalls, stick to the lakes and the rivers that you're used to. But I'm getting, it's like once again, someone telling you don't do these things, don't try different things, don't go after this, don't go after that. But that's not right. You don't have to listen to that. Just keep focused. Keep focused on your waterfall, on your rainbow, the end of the rainbow, I don't know, wherever you're trying to go. Keep that vision in mind, no matter what. Stay focused, don't think about it, don't think hard. Literally just, just know that's where I'm going. That's all you gotta know, okay? Just like GPS, I love it because I suck at directions and I don't have to think about the directions, I just follow what the GPS says, right? You just follow path of life, what ends up happening, because everything's happening perfectly for you, unfolding perfectly. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what this channel is anymore.
I don't know what channeling is anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and my last video. I'll probably post this one tomorrow, so it'll be Saturday. But this one, currently, I recorded this. It is 11.51 p.m. now on a Friday night. So, hope you guys all enjoy your weekend or have been enjoying your weekend once you watch this video. Thanks.